Hey there fellow Factorians, Onerous here with another beginners tips and tricks video and this one's covering one of the most essential units when it comes to uh, certainly early, mid and even late game of Factorio and that is belts. Uh, the humble belt does so much and uh, really is uh, the crux, the, the core of any, any base as you're trying to automate things. So belts they just move stuff from a to b really simple but there are a few sneaky things that a lot of beginners aren't aware of um, that you can use uh, to make life a little bit easier and uh might as well just jump straight in and talk about the most important one i think um well before we go got to point out i'm using creative mode mod um, that's where i'm getting these little things that are just creating infinite amount of resources and this side here that's just kind of sucking them up um, just so we can show everything in action here, so we'll just uh, stop that for a minute. A little bit annoying. Um, yes, so uh, here I've just set up uh, a couple of lanes of things. We've got some green circuits and some plastics. Um, now, if you have something, a assembler that needs green circuit and plastics, um, let's uh, let's pop him down. All right. Um, one thing you probably initially do is you go, okay, I need green circuits there I'll do a uh, the long handled and and a regular inserter and that'll get me going um, that's great uh, but you're using two inserters a long handled to make one requires an inserter as well as um, some green circuits I believe let's just quickly check that uh, oh no just just iron okay well that's not too bad but it's extra resources and what you can actually do is um, is turn these two single lanes uh, two full lanes into a a mixed lane. Um, the the at the core of this is the idea that there each belt has two lanes, one side, left side, and a right side. And no matter how twisty the route goes, uh, let's grab some belt. No matter how twisty it goes, that side is always maintained. Things will only ever go on on the side that they started on. So here, this side here, never crosses over. Um, now, we can use that to our advantage and uh, and just get these guys going on one lane. And the easiest way uh, in my mind to do that is uh, is with a team section. If we just set up a simple simple corner here, you'll see the belt just goes around. Uh, turn that into a team section and suddenly you see the graphic here changes uh, and looks like this convel bait just ends and dumps it on here. And that graphic actually was a change in early uh, 017 um, that really highlighted this side loading um, ability here. So now if you do this, all of a sudden uh, this stuff just gets dumped on the on the closest lane here. And suddenly we've got just half a lane, half a lane of of things and if we do likewise on the other side and it doesn't even have to be here we can do it anywhere here as long as it doesn't do a corner uh, as long as there's a T intersection it'll do it and now suddenly we have a belt that is half and half uh, really really handy in uh, getting those things going and in fact the first time you'll really use that is smelting because smelting uh, needs a fuel source coal and it needs ore so by having a belt that's half and half, um, we can actually make an arrangement like this, which is a fairly standard smelting column uh, that you'll see a lot of if you sort of look up these kind of things. Um, and what it's doing, uh, similar to what we had before, this is actually a T in the section, but um, instead of just going one way, it's going both ways. It's using a splitter to do that. So the splitter here is making this into, into two lanes. Or, probably quite familiar with how splitters work if you had any play at all um, but because we've got two splitters facing off against each other um, they're making all of these into into team sections um, so essentially we've got a splitter on either way and then a lane coming down and that turns into a team section as well with the guys getting dumped off on both sides all right while we're talking about splitters um, let's uh let's just have a little bit of fun with some splitters here here we can see I've got uh, I've got four full lanes going into a single lane. As you can see, it's perfectly mixing, perfectly mixing that we've got um, we've got some plastic, some blue, some green, some red, plastic, blue, green, red, plastic. It's a beautiful symbol. Um, now I definitely don't recommend doing this. This is a terrible idea because 
Uh, splitters, when you're actually using them to connect lanes together, they don't work well. Look what happens if we do this. Uh, all of a sudden we only have, oh well I need to put one of these here, all of a sudden we only have green and plastic here and red and blue here. Um, ew, how did that happen? And in fact if we, uh, if we just take the easy, the easy option we see, look at that, we put a splitter on here, nothing changes. Um, remove one of these, oh, all of a sudden that goes to, to green and plastic. Put this one back, oh there we go, yeah it's going alright. It's uh yeah it's it, it's just not not particular. There we go. That's what I was trying to get. Um, for some reason, all of a sudden, it's now going. It's swapped the lane. So they're really unpredictable if you're trying to do that. The main the main reason you use a splitter for is just to split off a lane or something. And here we go. Okay, we got a little bus. We went plastic going off this way. Um, if you want to get something off, uh, say a red going that way, uh, you've just got to use undergrounds. So let's uh, underground here like that, uh, underground here like that, and and these are things you'll just sort of learn as you go. Um, I keep pressing one; that's my normal hotkey. And there we go. And then we get a red out, and as you can see, the the plastic and the greens are continuing there. Um, yeah. So splitters are used for splitting. Uh, never use them to join dissimilar items. Uh, yes, because you'll have uh, unpredictable results like this. All right. Well, um, I mean, that's that to me. Uh, this idea of side loading and being able to mix different belts uh, with different items—that is uh, the most important thing for you to get your head around early on in the game. And doing this will save you both uh, a lot of a lot of materials in inserters. Because, um, for instance, in, in this arrangement, all of a sudden. Uh, one insert will be able to pick up both green and plastic. Um, the other thing you save is is actually in materials because if you've got a long run of this um, and you're putting like a, a few of these guys down, doing a bunch of things, whatever it may be, um, you're actually storing a fair bit of of materials in this belt um, if it's not being used. But if you've got if you've got two full belts. You're actually storing twice as much, and it's 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 a really tiny efficiency that uh, it can make a difference. Um, but yes, uh, having these having these split belts super important. Um, ah, the other thing that's right. The other thing I need to mention is uh, is the way inserters work on the belts. Uh, inserters will always put stuff on the uh, the far side, the far side of a. Uh, of a belt, so we can use that to our advantage as well. Um, let's just uh, help this out a bit. We can use that to our advantage by saying, um, "Well, what if I want to? Uh, what if I want to create a mixed belt that way? Well, we can do something like that because they always put it on the far side. Um, this becomes a mixed belt, and you're always going to have those sides." Uh, Plastic on the bottom, green on the top. Um, one last thing, if you've got a mixed belt and you only want one to continue, um, there's a couple of things you can do. The absolute easiest now is, is use a splitter. And they have output priorities. Um, you can go left or right, doesn't matter which side you do it, but you can actually filter so that only one product goes out on one side. And I just enabled alt mode. If you don't know what alt mode is, look it up. It's very important. Um, and then all of a sudden, we see we, we've split them off here. And uh, that'll just keep going. Um, the other thing you can do is use undergrounds, uh, which is just a little bit trickier. Uh, so an underground actually only takes up... Uh, uh, the, the barrier actually blocks... Um, look, it's hard to explain. Let me just show you. Um, if we do this and then hook this up, you'll see only greens come through. Uh, that is because the actual sort of this metal part of, of that blocks half the lane and only this half of the lane can drop into the underground. So um, that's how you used to do it before before splitters allowed you to filter. Uh, but now it's just so much easier to say, oh, I want plastic coming out on the right hand side. Um, you will notice one thing I did there, which is another thing to keep in mind, is I placed it one away if I place it here, 
and then set the filter. You can see I've already got a green out there. Um, and I want that to go to the right. Uh, you'll see we picked up a couple greens in the in the sorting when it was connected. So if you want to make sure you don't get anything like that, you want to start it one away, do your filter, and then and then connect it up. Beautiful. Um, if you just want, if you want to take one resource but have this whole thing continue on, um, the uh, the simplest way to do that is with a filter inserter. Uh, we can just grab one of those. So if I use a filter inserter here, I can say, okay, only take out plastic, um, and then it'll uh, it'll do that. Lovely for us, and we can. Uh, We'll see. We'll, we'll get some keep going past. All right. Um, the last thing. Oh, yes. The last thing to remember. Um, so splitters, I said, don't use them to join things that are different. Um, the one uh, the one case where that may not be, uh, may not be the, the worst advice is uh, if we've got two different things on different sides of the belt. So here, uh, we'll do what we did before. But you'll see here we've got in in the same orientation we've got plastic on the bottom and we've got green on the top and remember those things never they never change their orientation so if we do a splitter that actually joins these into one row plastic maintains on the bottom and green stay on the top and you can actually create a full lane out of two half lanes uh, with a splitter that way um, and this one, it'll actually keep it because because you only have because um, you only have the one side of each fill. Making that into two lanes actually actually doesn't. There's no chance of this stuffing up um, because you're always going to have greens on top and white on the bottom. Um, but it's weird. You, normally, this is kind of the arrangement you would use it for. Um, look, those are really really the things that I want you to get across. Um, Yep, just always remember, belts have two sides. Uh, if you need mo more than uh, multiple different materials going into assembly, you, can, you don't need multiple belts. Um, you can get two items on each belt. The only thing to remember is always look at the number of items you need a second because uh, yellow belts can only carry 15 items a second. So half a lane only carries 7.5 items a second. Um, so if one of these... if if you need eight items a second for your for your whole column, uh, you're going to need more than half a half a yellow belt. Uh, likewise, red 30 items a second, blue 45 items a second. Each lane only carries half that. Um, that's a little bit more advanced, and uh, you can check out my uh, my video on the the maths of Factorio if you want to look into um, items required per second for various crafting. Uh, arrays. There's, uh, I've got a video on some ratios, basic ratios uh, that you can have a look at too. Um, that talks into some of those things. Like uh, I think I think I'm going to red science on that one. Um, and yeah, look, if there's any other things you want to hear about, really simple tips that you'd like to know a bit more about, then uh, drop me a comment below, and I'll endeavour to get back to you. And well, back in general by creating a video on that topic and trying to keep people aware of the different things you can do just to make Factorio life a little bit more enjoyable and open up a whole lot more possibilities for you to play around with yourself. So I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.